So, hello everyone and welcome. You know, you can hear the music in the background. You know what that music means. It means we're back for another Who Booked This? And I'll tell you, or who is going to be booking this. Words. <laughs> he comes from science. He weighs a lot. Oh shit. He's big. Calyx. Batista Hello. Guns. My name is Big Calyx, and I am the world's largest professional wrestler. Wow. Big. <laughs> and for the next two hours, I'll be talking like this, because doing that for, for two hours <laughs> is a lot. <laughs> But I'm Big Calix, and we'll be we'll be booking some shows, and uh, all the uh, all the money and shit's gonna be going to the Trevor Project, and we're just gonna have a good old time. Yeah. We're gonna get we're gonna get mildly drunk, and we're gonna have some smoothies, and it's gonna be a grand old grand old day. Alright. So, I mean, you've already. And this is a just to, just to keep things clear. This is anti Cookie Puss stream. We don't <laughs> uh, we don't accept or tolerate Cookie Puss propaganda in the chat. Please keep all your Cookie Puss and Carvel propaganda into another location. <laughs> All right, so you've seen our roster. You know, I would say most of the names you're familiar with. Matt Mikowski, for instance. Speedball Mike Bailey. Big Calix. Oh, shit, I know that guy. Okay. There's so many people, I don't even I don't even know where to start. Uh, I mean, th those so are just I... our roster. You don't need to use all of them or anything like that, but they are there for your use should you wish to do so how do we feel about dq ice cream cakes we feel good about dq ice cream cakes is there a small calyx there's absolutely a small calyx uh his name is uh at otar oddball on twitter um so i guess before we even start like thinking about who's going to be on this we should probably like start formatting what the card's going to look like i guess or like what the theme is or how many matches oh well you uh it lets you do that like after like after oh, you've so you brought everyone in, and then you do it. So like, That's so weird. Yeah. I know. Well, I mean, I'll show you how the booking screen looks, so you've got an idea. So you can have up to ten matches. All of them should... Uh, all of them are, like, just one-on-one, -on -one, two on two, three on three, or four on four. Mm. Uh, and I'll show the chat the names that we've brought in. So... Oh yeah, and I'm Shamu and uh, Ryo Hama, who's big, wanted to work for us. Uh, so, one of the names you wanted vis was Viscera, and I didn't have him unlocked, but I did have Mabel unlocked. So damn! <laughs> and because of that, I brought in Mo as well, because you can't have one without the other. Uh, we got Mark Henry. We got Kane. I brought in Max and Taylor because you said big wrestlers. Yeah. Uh, oh, I love Henry Faz too. Uh, we have the great Kali. Oh, put some respect on that name. Future tonight, as of as of in three hours, WWE Hall of Famer, great Kali. Right. Damn right he should be. So, with that said, is there any other names in mind you can think of that you would want to be on your show? So, I think with this show, I think we need a Haas-centric show. Okay. With a, a little a little bit of a, a little bit of spice, a little bit of speed. So, I'm just trying to think. So, I think as far as shows go, I think we're going to keep this to six or seven matches. Okay. Um, chat, what do you think? Six or seven? chat will decide for us um hmm maybe we'll have two two small people matches okay yeah i have no idea <laughs> aside from the five names we've mentioned i have no idea who i've i really want to get in there i think i want to get boomer hatfield and molly mccoy in there well molly's on a roster uh, anyway so perfect oh a very good professional wrestler yes Awesome. I've heard of that guy. Par Paro, Bear Boulder, Neo Wing. Wheeler Yuta, Xavier. 
oh, I'm just gonna book a show with all my friends. That's um, what most people do, to be honest. It's like usually <laughs> like a combination of like uh, friends, uh, favorite people to work with, and like wrestlers they grew up watching. That's usually the mm. sort of mix that goes in. Hmm. Um. I don't even know where to start. So I guess I just have to pick the wrestlers that I want right now. Yeah, I mean, if you throw a name at me, I'll know if we've if I've got them in the game. And I'm looking for Boomer because I know for a fact I've got Boomer in the game, and I'm pretty sure I unlocked him. But yeah, I thought I'm, I saw him earlier. I'm. Give me a second. I'm going to do what in layman's terms is known as cheating, and we should have him. Because this is it. I know for a fact I've got him in the game. So here's the thing. Calix, you are big. I sure am. Boomer Hatfield, he is not big. One may, even, one may even go as far to call him whatever the opposite of big is. Oh, shit. Are you saying Boomer Hatfield small? My is, goodness. Is that the word? How that's, does... <laughs> that's the word I'd use. I would use that word. How does this affect your friendship? <laughs> I just removed his number from my phone. It's gone. <laughs> right. Turns out he wasn't unlocked, but he is now. Sweet. There he is. And oh, he's God. <laughs> oh, yeah, the money in this is ridiculous. I was going to say, he is making a good deal of money. More than more than I think either of us are worth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Boomer Hatfield is in. Uh, All right. Any other names? Am I allowed to do... You said we can do one, uh, one on one, two on two... Three triple on, threats. No, no, three on three. Like trios oh, three on or four on four. Okay. Are we allowed to do triple threats and everything or no? Uh, sadly not. Or, well, you can, but then every match would have to be a triple threat. Uh, I'm sorry, Razor D. This is my night mode voice. This is the <laughs> uh, this is the voice I use when I because uh, if I if I did you know day mode Calyx for two hours I would I would be throwing up constantly. <laughs> um. Okay, so match one, we're going to go a three on three. How can you become as big as Big Calyx? Uh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely cannot. You're not allowed. Um, <laughs> we're going to do a very good professional wrestler with Molly McCoy and Boomer Hatfield Let's see if we can get versus... That. Okay. All right, so a very good professional wrestler is in. Uh, so who who would your opponents for them be? It would be the Main State Posse. Uh, Main State. God, I don't. I forgot their names. It's um, Aiden Agro, Alexander Lee, and then Danger Kid. I thought I saw. I know I saw Aiden Agro and Alexander Lee. Well, Aiden Agro doesn't want. Oh work with no! Us. Well, uh, we'll so find a different trio. Off. We'll do a different trio. If he doesn't want to work with us, we don't want him. Yeah. And this is just the American uh, or North American free agents, by the way. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's do Hollow Wicked. There we go. Um, Hollow Frightmare. Is in. Frightmare. Is in. <laughs> and then the third scariest wrestler I can think of, Lee Moriarty, if he's in here. I I do have Lee I'm making Moriarty. a lot of assumptions for you. Yes! Lee Moriarty no! is not in. Um, who would make a good a good third for Hollow Wicked and Frightmare? David Arquette. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have Rosemary on our roster. Hmm. Can we? Can you scroll up a little bit? I want to see who else we got. Yeah. 
Oh shit, Larry Sweeney, put him on. <laughs> put him on. He's in? There we go. That's match of the year. All right, so. Cool, so we have match. I should get my, like a pen and a paper or something. Um, Give me a I'll second. use my I'll, notes I'll, app. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this, I'll write this down. <laughs> so. <laughs> the order of the Neo Solar 12 Large. That's a great name. Trios A V G P W. Boom. I just abbreviated Mom. them as good. Oh, that's even shorter. It's hollow Fright and Sweeney. So I think for match two. We're gonna do something a little more, um, a little more technical. Okay. I think for match two, we're gonna do Wheeler Yuta. All right. Try and get him. He's in. Let's do Wheeler Yuta versus Travis Huckabee. Would be great. Actually, scratch that. Wheeler Yuta versus Batista. <laughs> no. Scratch that. Wheeler Yuta versus Big Show. That's it. I can't wait to see what the what the machine comes back with a with a percentage for that one. Big Show wants oh, none no. of us. So it's for the best, honestly. I, I'm just gonna make sure. Um, just get Batista unlocked, and we'll try for him. I should have come way more. Sorry. Oh no, no, you're good. Don't worry about it. This is like doing loads of these in a row. It's like, it, it's easy done, but doing loads of them in a row would start to take up time. And it, I imagine it wouldn't be the most exciting watch. <laughs> uh, Tiger's mask. Does that mean he has all the masks? I think so. Right. Talking in all caps is not required, but it is bonus points. You do get extracurricular um, indie wrestling vouchers. Batista is in. <laughs> Incredible. So Wheeler Yuta uh, versus Batista. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So for match number three, I think we're gonna get a little goofy. Mm -hmm. Have a little gaff. Um, what are the odds of that Grado is in this? In this. Uh, Grado game? is one million percent in this game. Fuck yeah! I hope he wants to be a part of it. He does. There we go. It's himself. Let's do Grado versus Kikutaro. Oh my god. Right, where's Kikutaro? I know I've got him. Oh, there he is. Hmm? Did I go by him? I think so, yeah. Oh, A little yeah, bit more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grado versus Kikutaro. <laughs> Alright. Um, wow. I don't even. Okay, so now that we've got that, we need a death match. <laughs> As the natural <laughs> progression. Of course. <laughs> um, who would be a great deathmatch? Uh, I would like my deathmatch to be Akira. If you have him. I think I just saw him, but I don't know. Should have him. Uh, should be in the free agents bit. I hate how it's thrown the order of these to pieces. There he is. Uh, well, um, I guess, well, we should book Big Calyx, right? That's probably important. Yeah. Well, you're on the roster anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'll, I'll, say, I'll just quickly, again, our own roster, just to, as a refresher for yourself. Yes, please. Uh, so, K, uh, Alison K, ADM, Alexis Falcon, Amy Lonzi, Andrew Everett. Uh, let's see. Curio, T 
Killer Kelly, Matt Mikowski, Speed Oh, Bowl. fuck. Killer Kelly versus Matt Mikowski would go so hard. You want That'd that? That'd be awesome. Yeah, I do want that. That'd be incredible. How is that not a thing that's happened already? Yeah, you know, you know, Matt did one of these. He, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, he mostly booked shooters. What a loser, that guy. <laughs> We've got Pel Primo, Rosemary, you, uh, uh, Viper, Piper Niven, uh, Jody the Wrestler, Faye Jackson, Sugar Dunkerton, Candy Lee, O'Shea Edwards. Mm. Man, there's not enough, not enough time in a day, not enough people on the card. Hmm. I would love... Okay, so we have... I have to get out my notes up. So, so far, <laughs> we've got uh, the, tr the opening trios match. We've got Wheeler Yuta versus Batista, Gredo versus Kikutaro, and Killer Kelly versus Matt Mikowski. <laughs> Incredible. Um... <sighs> so... Hmm. I would like. Are there? Are we allowed to? Is it like separated by weight or gender or anything? Or can we just do whoever well, versus whoever? You can do it completely intergender. You can do it uh, like weight classes. None of that matters. Awesome. So I want to do um, Molly McCoy and Razor. Um, do you have him in here? Oh, you've, you you already got M Molly McCoy in the opening match. The trio. Do thing. I? Oh, you're right. You said Boomer, wow. uh, very good, and her against uh, Frightmare, Hollow Wicked, and Larry Sweeney. Okay, so we'll do, I guess, Razor Wing, if you have him. I don't know if you do. I, I forgot to check. Um, uh, Razor not Wing. Not on the roster, Razor but I do have him in the game. Awesome. Uh, we'll do him and Candy Lee versus um, O'Shea Edwards and Viper. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, because I messed it up. So, ah, yeah, because there was the whole name change thing. It was, it was like, uh, Neil Wing? Yeah. Was... Is in. There we go. So, uh, what, was, what was that? It was, uh, yes. Uh, Wing. him, Candy Lee, and then O'Shea and Viper. Who I think the rest of those are on the roster already. Yes. Viper scored very highly when she was on. Mm. Hell yeah. Um, so, for doing a seven match card. That's such a bummer that we can't do. Okay. So, we're going to do a. So, you're at five matches right now. Oh, I wish we could do um, triple threats because Big Show versus. Big Show versus Mark Henry versus... Um... Oh, Big Show said no. And yes. Oh, that, that big fuck. Too good for our show. <laughs> that, and that, like, just again, refresher on the other people that you have available uh, that I managed to get in for you. So we have Ann Chamu and Ryo Hama who both wanted to be a part of it, so they can if they want. Uh, we've got Mabel, Mo, Mark Henry, Kane, Max and Palo. Uh, plus uh, the Great Cali. Alright, so we're going to do Max the Impaler versus Mabel. <laughs> uh, and then for the main event, we got Big Calix versus the Great Cali. This is the dumbest fucking card I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> what a card, though. Okay, so let's... He was trying to <laughs> What an expensive, bad card. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm going to bring up that card at the side. There, so I'm <laughs> Mabel is out on a loan. That's got to be the funniest thing I've ever read. 
That's so good. Yeah, to us. <laughs> it's just like the default text for when someone's already booked with a company that month. It's okay, so. Maybe professional rest. Summer Hatfield. And. Mullen McCoy. Versus. Frightmare. Hello, Wicked. And you know what? I'm doing it in this order purely so that they come out to Larry Sweeney's music. Perfect. And Frightmare. Uh, so, a very good professional wrestler before they changed their name was Dasher Hatfield. Yes. <laughs> For the benefit of anyone in the chat who doesn't know, formerly Dasher Hatfield, long time uh, Chikara mainstay, and yeah, as the name says, a very good professional wrestler. He's a very good professional wrestler. An incredibly good professional wrestler. Yeah, but that's getting a bit too wordy. Yeah, you can't, can't have that. You can't go from a very good professional wrestler to an incredibly good professional wrestler. Why has anywhere booked Grado versus Kikutaro yet? And if not, why not? Right? So is Grado still taking bookings? Uh, yeah, although, like, I haven't seen him do much throughout, like, obviously the pandemic and everything. But, like, he also does, like, TV work over here these days. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen much of him on the independents. He's in, like, um, uh, sit lately. He's in, like, sitcoms and stuff over here as well. Good for him. Candy Lee and Neil, or Razorwing, whichever you prefer, uh, against Shea Edwards, Viper. I'm excited to see how that one's going to go. In an all time dream match here, <laughs> we got. Max the Impaler versus Mabel. <laughs> oh, costume three, please. That was my favorite. Uh, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh fuck! Not... How, did, how did we make it this far and not book Aja Kong? We'll get you next time, pal. That's so sad. Huh. Well, we got to leave some horses for future shows. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Just too many horses. Too many lines. Too many horses, so little time. They made the Great Khali look like someone's dad, and I love it. Just I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's dad. just his look from like one of the previous games. Oh, like, okay. Because like the previous Fire Pro games, it was like very much that thing of uh, let's put in real wrestlers and change their names. <laughs> so. <laughs> Quickly try and loan out our people to other places. Hey Drew, go to AEW. Or not. Aww. Stardom, have Rosemary. Cool. He's doing stuff like this, like, it basically keeps them happy and it can sometimes lead to, like, you know, maybe they build a relationship with someone mm -hmm. and. Oh, hey, V. I'm glad you made it. You just missed out on the dumbest card that's ever been booked, ever. So, buckle buckle your seatbelt, because it's a wild one. I'm just picking at random here. <laughs> can, we send, uh, can we send Jody the wrestler to um, CMLL? Sure. <laughs> or we can try. <laughs> it works! Yes! 
Uh, it sometimes leads to them becoming like friends with other wrestlers, which can like make it easier to bring them in. Giant huge Hulk beef is going to be a or no giant huge beef bulk is going to be my NXT name. I can't believe pro wrestling. No, I don't want Emily Hayden. Ace Ribbon, have Allison K. I took her. Gal Move, have. Let's see. Shug. <laughs> That's something I would watch, actually. <laughs> Can we give Josh Vuller to uh, GCW? Sure. I just want to make his, his heart a little happy. It worked! It worked! Also, GCW, have. Raven Creed. New Japan have Freddie Mercurio. Or not. No. Oh. Alright, New Japan, if that's the way you want it, have Speedball. I feel like Speedball would do so well in New Japan. He's one of those guys that would do it well anywhere, though. Yeah. Jail of Dark going to Dragon Gate. Sure. <laughs> All Japan have Mariah May. It works. DDT have Brent Carr. Stardom, Alexis Falcon, who probably do well there now that I think about it. Just got to keep her roster happy. Everyone else, training expedition. You this know, is so cool. You, you can do so. You can train, or you can like touch and like tune up every aspect of this. This is so cool. Yeah, I mean it's very addictive. Like, I I always have a lot of fun with it. Even just like doing dumb stuff on my own. Mm -hmm. Can't believe they knocked back speedball. The fools. Right. How could you ever? There. We are all set and good to go. Awesome. What a show this is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be something. <laughs> it's either going to be really, really good or really, really memorable. Why not both? <laughs> you can't have both. That's just good. Alright, so quickly save that, and then I'm going to quickly restart the game, just so I can restart without the mods. That will only take a few moments, uh, so please bear with us uh, while we get this done. How just you... read out the name of the trios match so I can do the prediction, I think I got the rest. Uh, the trio's match is Molly McCoy, Boomer Hatfield, and a very good professional wrestler versus Hollow Wicked, Frightmare, and Larry Sweeney. What a trio that is. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What in everything this show is. <laughs> <laughs> this is how a few of them go. People, like, because they realize, oh, oh, it's just a game. We can have a bit of fun and just book the most ridiculous shows they can. Imagine if, like, I don't know, imagine if this show happened. Like, what? <laughs> I know people would show up to it, but would I, they stay? I would. I, I would definitely watch the stream, yeah. Yeah, it also took me a super long time to realize it. Um, it's like a, a soap opera thing, right? Uh, I think it's like an old, like, wives' tale, I think. Hmm. Like, Hatfields don't like McCoys. I think that's the thing. I don't know. Slower. Okay. Uh, a very good professional wrestler. Oh, there it is. Cool. So, in the meantime, uh, I would just like to say, as always, with these streams, uh, in lieu of, you know, subscribing or donating bits and that, which, don't think it's not appreciated, but for the benefit of these, we would much prefer that you perhaps think about making a donation to the Trevor Project, to a fantastic LGBT charity. I'll let Calix talk a bit more about them. I know you've 
done work to raise for them before. Yeah, so if you have, or if you helped us or kind of noticed anything that we did with the Big Gay Giveaway, it's the same charity that benefited that. Um, it's the Trevor Project. It is an LGBTQ um, at-risk uh, organization that kind of helps that at-risk uh, LGBTQ group, um, whether it's like uh, emergency hotlines, resources, anything that they can kind of do to help out. Um, they're an incredible organization um, and every there's some kind of charities that you get the sense of like what's my what's my money gonna do you know but mm. they're a charity that really does use um, every cent that you give to them you know to the right place and they're not you know swimming in coins over there so yeah. I mean that I mean I always say it especially since I started doing these but like times like these you know, obviously not the best of times for anybody, and like charities always do tend to take a hit when stuff like that happens. Mm-hmm. And like I started this because like I'm one of the lucky ones, even though I'm only contracted part time as a worker because of like my own sort of health issues. Like my work have been making sure I've still been getting paid even through like lockdowns and stuff. So. Mm-hmm. With these kind of streams, like I'm, I'm no fool. I know a wrestler's a bigger draw than me, uh, so like I wouldn't have felt right making money off of that. So, which is why I said, like, well, hey, we'll just let people pick whatever charity means something to them, and you know, the best sure. can come, that... fr- come from having a bit of fun. <laughs> Absolutely, that's so cool. I like, you know, what a way to do it. Would you mind? Sorry, <laughs> can you pop the uh, the stream back in the Discord for me? Oh, if that's okay. I always forget to do that. By the way, <laughs> like every <laughs> time when I restart the game, I forget to do that. How you doing, El Waster? There we go. And like, yeah, that's the thing. Like Jensen in the chat as well. Like, if you're not able to donate, don't worry about it because, like, as I said, times are tough for everybody but even if you can like maybe share the link around or whatever because you never know who it might help (laughs) absolutely yeah no rush like no worries if you can't you know everyone's got bills to pay everyone you know has mouths to feed but if you're able to spare a coin or two much appreciated yeah so with that said yeah wait no (laughs) wait v you were supposed to find out one at a time yeah we got wheeler versus let me run down the card real quick so uh match one we have uh, <laughs> professional wrestler team, which is <laughs> uh, Boomer Hatfield, Molly McCoy, and a very good professional wrestler versus Hollow Wicked, Frightmare, and Larry Sweeney. Uh, match two, we got Wheeler Yuta versus Batista. Match three, we got Grado versus Kikutaro. Match four, we got Killer Kelly versus Matt Mikowski. Match five, <laughs> we got Candy Lee and Neo Wing versus O'Shea Edwards and Viper. Uh, match six, we got Max the Impaler versus Mabel. <laughs> uh, and then match seven, we got Big Calix versus the Great Kali. Versus legit Hall of Famer, the Great Kali. And, and, I'll put this on the line. If I beat the Great Kali, if I defeat the Great Kali, I become a Hall of Famer. From the, I take away his title of WWE Hall of Famer. He's cashing but, in. But if the Great Kali defeats me, if the Great Kali defeats me, he will become big for one day. <laughs> one day only, he gets it. He can rent it. Alright, so with that said, open in contest type. Oh, I can pick a type. What are my options? Oh, that's already set. They're all like. Oh, okay. Showman. <laughs> I gotcha. Because uh, that's like our company style, basically. Mm. Gotcha. Cool. I mean, you can. Damn, you look good on. You can change it to like suit particular wrestlers. Like you can set a matches like King's Road if you're booking like, uh, you know, like a Kenta Kabashi or a Mitsuhara Misawa or whatever. Mm. But uh, for the most part, showman is what works for us. <laughs> the big Kali. <laughs> It's the great big Kali, Charlie Brown. 
That Hall was of actually... Fame forever or big for a day. Those are equal. Those are the equal things. <laughs> that was almost like what I called one of the dumb Halloween wrestling show streams. I called. That's uh, a did great once. name. It was a. Uh, it's uh, the the show was called. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Haas. <laughs> I love that. Oh, there's a prediction in the chat. I love this. Yes. Uh, so that's why Jane was asking about the, the team members. Oh, you uh, can just gamble with your points. Yeah, the, the channel points that you get for watching. You can bet them on who you think will win. I spent thirty points on Molly Boomer and Dasher. Oh, I love the dancers. This is cool. They look like um, Sonic workers almost. Huh. Speaking of taking too long to realize things, it took me too long to realize Molly's gear was the Flyers' colors. Yeah. Um, I, I don't. So I know originally the idea behind it when the character was I uh, like figured out was the kick pads that they have were supposed to be like goalie pads but there's no way to put goalie pads on a professional wrestler and have that work yeah <laughs> not safely anyway right <laughs> so when they went to the the commissioner or whatever for their gear they're like i need <laughs> i need my kick pads to be hockey goalie pads and they did that was close to they could get because hockey pad, goalie pads are like the size of a bookshelf. Like, it's just not a thing. There we go. Team one. Oh, also, we got all. Yeah, old I like yeah, I forgot to set it so that they come out together as well. <laughs> because I'm a fool. That's okay. Yeah, like, most of these, like, most of the, like, the ex Chikara people I have, it's, it was just like someone had made, like, Back in the day, someone had made just made, basically made the Chikara roster. Yeah. And so a lot of the ones I have are just from that, which is why it'll be like old looks or whatever. The Hollow Wicked's crazy good. Oh, That's yeah. Awesome. Some of them are fantastic. And last but not least. Oh. I miss that, man. Yeah. I just it's, got goosebumps here in that thing. That, that was a lot. Mm. I mean, you think, like, how big a star he would have been now. Right. Like, now, obviously, like, most wrestling companies either have their own or are involved with some kind of, like, you know, on demand service. Uh, wrestling over the internet's a lot bigger than it was back then. But, like,. Can we get some 12 larges in the chat for big old, uh, big old LS? Yeah. Put your 12 larges in the chat, boys. Oh, he punched him right in his head. So your prediction for this is McCoy, Boomer, Wrestler. I do. I, that is my, that is my prediction. I think the <laughs> smallness of uh, Molly and Boomer will defeat the 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 tallness of Hollow Wicked. I mean, say that they're I, only I, small I, physically, and Did... well, they're also small with all every other like they're small physically, but they're also small on their arms and on their their forehead, just small and uh, yeah, they're small everywhere. But do they have big spirit? Probably not, because uh, their spirit's <laughs> probably the same size as the rest of them. They might have big shoes. Sometimes small people have big shoes. Oh, and, and I forgot, forgot to set the rules back to normal, so there's no countouts apparently. <laughs> oh, man! I wish I, I would have changed my uh, my vote. Tiny baby, baby man spirit. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say about a guy with bug shoes? What do they say? That he has ants in his, ants in his socks? Not to be confused with gum shoes. Yes, where you have gum in your shoes. No, I said oh. gun shoes because, 
You know, I, I've watched the Mikowski Jackbox streams, I know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not got the gun shoes on today. Could that be a disadvantage? Could be. Could be. Boomer Hatfield, <laughs> you can't put shoes, you can't put guns in your shoes for wrestling, but you can do it in virtually every other aspect of your life. So, he's uh, he's at an advantage if this is happening and not a wrestling ring, but in a wrestling ring, he's kind of screwed. Knife shoes, um, I don't know. I think you can do knife shoes if it's a hardcore match. You mean like uh, the big man from Chewing the Fat Spike Dragon? I don't, what is that? Okay. That's oh, new to me. Yeah, I was going to say you won't know. So like, it was a Scottish sketch show in like the sort of late, late 90s, early 2000s. And there was a character called the big man who was basically like a local hard man problem solver type. Who would always walk into these absurd situations and just threaten people basically oh my god wait what is up with that ref's hands what is going on there oh that <laughs> so that's what? Our, that is our senior official the uh, big hands oh. johnson oh okay oh thank you for introducing me to big hands johnson yeah his hands are so big and muscly from all the counting he does <laughs> And the, the, the real life explanation is I just thought of the name Big Hands Johnson and decided to make a referee call it. That's incredible. This, this is how it always works like when people finally notice how big his hands are. Oh my gosh, one of the things that made me laugh so hard and there's a wrestler, uh, his name is Hot Dog Starks. Yeah, yeah, and he has, no. he has these big... He has these big hamburger helper gloves that he wears. <laughs> so to, in a match, Devontae went to go shake his hand and ripped his hand off. <laughs> he just lost his hand. I would like to see. I would like to see hamburger helper hands. Hot dog Starks versus Big Hands Johnson. Well, like both O'Shea Edwards and Allison K have both said, based upon seeing him, that. They want to do a match in the future where, like, the referee just has massive prosthetic hands on, like the <laughs> you know, like the big Hulk hands or something. Oh man, I might need to hire Big Hands Johnson for all my shows, just as a just as like a precaution, so no one else can take him up. Plus, like, it would give you a distinct advantage because you know, being fellow big people. Albeit with him, it's just these hands, but still. This match actually goes really hard. Like, this is this has been awesome. Oh! There hasn't been a whole lot of promise for a um, good wrestle team lately. I, I think Firehawk in the chat is right. Putting on the prosthetic hands to be Big Hands Johnson for a show is absolutely a Bryce Remsburg thing. Absolutely. Oh, oh, an Amazon link. Oh my god, and they're available. Unavailable. Oh. That's so sad. I would totally buy those for um, the uh, Polyam cult party. <laughs> this is incredible. If you go to the... Oh, 2.9 almost a win. Hey. The good wrestle team is losing like heavily until a very good professional wrestler comes in and then he just wrecks shit for a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, that's a fair point again, Firehawk and only acceptable in horseshoes and hand grenades. Well, no hand grenades, we don't have Chuck Taylor boots, so... Uh, like... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Someone made that move in the game, by the way, the hand grenade. 
Oh, that's awesome. Does the ring explode with it or no? No, uh, no just all the wrestlers get sent flying. Even though I bet my uh, my channel points on good wrestle team, my my heart has switched to the other team in hopes that they win. Right. I, I really want I really want Hollow Wicked and Mary Swing to pull this out. Oh, Jesus! Big boot right to the back of the head. Oh, with that fighting spirit from Boomer Hatfield. It's those tiny hands. Could have had a three if he had bigger hands. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Just constantly <laughs> scroll back. <laughs> I've never seen a match where, like, the, the second or third pin wins the match. I think that'd be so cool. Oh, I've always said that. Like, just so that the possibility's out there. Right. Like, same one. You know how, like, some companies, the fans do that thing of, like, when someone's been counted out, like, out of the ring? Then, like, the, the fans will count along, but, like, slightly ahead to try and throw yeah. the referee off. I want so a company to book it so that someone gets counted out because of that. <laughs> I would love for the ref to lose track because the audience is too loud. That actually happened uh, in... I think it was in progress. Like, not long after, like, crowds started doing that, like, they were legitimately thrown off the referee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Larry. What a nice present. He is fucking Molly all the way. Oh! <laughs> uh oh. Oh, no, soldier. Yeah, this, this is why I could never be a real booker. I'd be too tempted to go along with stuff like that constantly. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, they're having a 24-minute match. I don't know that I've ever had a 24-minute match in my life. Well, that's this in game time. Show. In real time, it's probably been, like, closer to about 10. <laughs> For sure, yeah. That's and it's, like... It is really hard to have a short match in Fire Pro, especially with, like, uh, trios matches. Mm. Oh, that was cool. Neck breaker. <laughs> he lost counts one. Months and never let him forget it. I, I want to go to the UK so bad. Those crowds look like so much fun. Well, I, I mean, like my, I think you'd be, I think you'd be well liked in like my local promotion, which is a promotion called Discovery Wrestling. Oh, okay. It's like, it's. Like, I'm trying to describe it. It's like family friendly, but not overly kiddie-ish, if that makes sense. Mm. And they've had like some good, like overseas wrestlers in. Like pre AEW, they had all of basically all of the elite guys over at some point or another. That's cool. And like the current champ is uh, Joe Hendry. Oh, right on. Yeah, I need to I need to find an excuse to get a passport. Oh, and you've just been gifted a sub by Kiwi Bird. Oh, thank you, Kiwi Bird. That was very kind of you. That's awesome. Now I get the two point nine emotes. Ah, uh, those aren't actually mine. <laughs> oh no! I, th I think oh, they might no. be new legacy inks. I uh, could be wrong. Wait. Nope. Oh, um. You, you can use the big hands Johnson emote. Oh, wait, where is he? His hands are regular sized in this emote. Uh, I'm hoping when I finally get unlocked enough. Oh no, that's the wall! From WCW. Oh, here it is. WCW? I've never seen a, uh, a minute of WCW in my life. Really? 
<laughs> I saw, I've seen like old Lucha matches and stuff, but I've never watched a full episode of uh, WCW ever. Uh, the wall was like toward the end of WCW. And like the clips become a meme, like the wall on literally on top of a building threatening to choke slam Hulk Hogan, who's like way down in the ring. <laughs> oh god, Big Calix makes me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. More than I care to admit. Everyone always assumes I'm like this, this old. This old fuck. No, I'm just a baby. I mean, you're like... I mean, assuming... Because... When you create a wrestler in this game, it lets you put in a date of birth. So, I'm not going to reveal, but assuming it's correct, you would have been born, like, early 90s. Uh... If it was correct, yeah. It's... Uh, well, I was born in 97. So I'm 24. Really? Yeah, I'm 24 right now. Oh, I just God. turned 24. No, I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> 24 cat out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Because the, the game had you as being born in 92. I, I look like I'm 92. I have a 92 year old face. I mean, it's 92 not... year old face. I meant 92 as in the year, and then comma, old face. <laughs> I have old face, it's me. It's not the weirdest uh, uh, incorrect one I've seen. It had, one of them had Alison K as being born in like 1995. And How old is she? Well, again, I won't reveal, but not 25. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you think about the mathematics of when she first showed up on the wrestling scene, it just doesn't work. Big Hands Johnson scares the fuck out of me every single time he puts puts his little tendies down on the mat. Like, it's so unexpected. Literally, that putting that date of birth is someone trying to tell me that Alison Kay is younger than Noam Dar, and quite frankly, no. <laughs> Yeah, if, uh, if I, I mean, oh, hey, Canadian is not old, is old enough to be Calix's parent. Most people are old enough to be my king. Wow, I like how that appeared in all red. That's the perfect font for that. Yeah, because you've made her so angry, and that's what's happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, as Pat Ketzer points out, that means Mako Satamura's WCW debut was the same year you were born. Yeah, and I think Rey Mysterio debuted like a couple years before I I was born too. Oh, um, and those, yeah, it was like 96, 97 he debuted, I think. Yeah. In, in WCW, because yeah. obviously, like, Mexico and like ECW before that. I remember having to be told about Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero's death. Like, I wasn't there mm. to live that. Someone had to explain that to me. Like, I remember. Oh, Sweeney with the oh! win. I love. Thank God, Sweeney picked it up. All my all my points are gone now. I hope the ether enjoys them. Like, oh, like without revealing too much, the first one, the first like uh, tragic wrestling passing away I can remember happening was Andre the Giant. Oh wow. <laughs> So we got a 93% on that. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. That is a very good opener. Give me them points. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Or as the channel points are known, hot dog handshakes. <laughs> That's why it's a little picture of a hand holding a hot dog. Oh, I love that. I just gained 12 hot dog handshakes. All right, next up. Wheeler Utah versus Batista. I love Wheeler Utah. He is one of my best friends in the world. He doesn't stand a fucking chance against Big Dave. Big oh. Dave has a belly button tattoo. Big Dave is a movie star. Big Dave has those sweet ass glasses. Wheeler Utah. Wheeler Utah is fucked. 
<laughs> He's done. He's cooked. <laughs> well, stranger things have happened in Fire Pro. The main one we always bring up. I'm actually... betting every single hot dog handshake I've got on Big Dave. Every single one. So one of the earlier ones we did, uh, we did, we threw together a randomized card just based on who we had available. And what the match it threw us was Batista versus Angel Hayes. Now, for yourself and for maybe anyone in the chat who doesn't know, Angel Hayes is a young Scottish wrestler. She's... Oh, no, his theme's not working. Damn it. Um, but... At the time of the match, and even now, Angel Hayes is, I think, only like 19 years old or something. And she beat Batista clean in like 10 minutes in this game. Look at him. He looks so fucking big. He looks like A Train. Fight. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. This is gonna be just upsetting. So I'm just gonna quit. I'm opening another notepad thing just so I know whose themes I need to fix. They gave Wheeler the hairline of a 50 year old accountant. Right? I mean, I didn't make this Wheeler. I didn't do that to him. For shame. Give up? <laughs> Those big hands. So we've currently got 1,300 <laughs> 1, hot dog handshakes versus uh, 3,200 hot dog handshakes favoring Big Dave Batista. I mean, I, I wish I'd remember to give him the blue gear. Mm. Then he'd have been unstoppable. A classic. And yes, whoever did make this Batista gave him the blue gear as an alt. It's really surprising how, like, accurate everyone's gear is. Like, Wheeler's looks spot on. Oh yeah, and like the Batista one, like... That's the thing I was talking about, where you can, like, make shit in the game. Like, someone made the logos for Batista's gear. Uh, the back tattoo as well. <laughs> Imagine spending, like, eight hours on a day just, just for a big dude's back tattoo. We love that commitment. I mean, some of them are hard, are easier to do than others. Wheeler is doing much better than I anticipated. And he's still not doing great. Oh my god. So Sasha in the chat says that someone did up a Batista machine guns taunt that actually adds in the sound effects. Oh my god. I love that. So, like, I'm terrible at the moves craft. I've only managed to make two moves so far. Yeah, it's. I mean, even even in real life, you know, <laughs> it's hard. It's all. It's always hard. People well, who make up moves are like wizards to me, and I can't even imagine like putting those cool moves into a video game where it's like you have to take pieces of existing puzzles and put them into a new thing. Yeah, I mean that's literally how it works in this. Like, or the ones I've made anyway. Like, it's literally just a, it's pretty much just like fusing two moves together. Because the, the one I made, it was basically a one-winged angel but into an emerald flosion. The other one was an airplane spin into a Northern Light suplex. I have to send the prediction really quick to Wheeler. <laughs> I sent him the card and he got really excited to wrestle Big Dave. But knowing that the uh, <laughs> majority is not behind him might not be his favorite. Well, I don't know. I think he'd be understanding, surely. I mean, Batista and all. I mean, granted, as you said, with that hair lane, this is like Wheeler Utah circa 2034 or whatever, but... That's the thing, and it is tough in Fire Pro to make a match where someone gets squashed. Give up. Give up. Give up. 
Give up. Come on, pop him with the Batista bomb. Batista bomb. That's what we're here to see. I mean, that's a good point from Pat Kesser. We, that's not the most lopsided one we've had. What's the most lopsided one that you've had? I can't remember offhand, but we I do remember that we have had ones where literally no one has predicted like one of the people winning, and that person has gone on to win. Oh, wow. V, I would watch that movie. With a Yuta coming from the future to fight Big Dave so Yuta doesn't do it and <laughs> get thrown in the sun. Coming this fall to NBC. I'm pretty sure that's just Ready Player One, but with wrestling. <laughs> That's it. Batista bomb. And yep, that'll do it. He's cooked. Give me my points back. I killed it. 600 points bet on Big Dave and I did it right. Oh, and that's a point from Firehawk as well. You can get like quick matches, but it's usually a, like a luck thing. Because there's a thing in the game called a, like a critical, which is basically winning by knockout for the most part. And every wrestler in the game can do it with their finisher. But you also get ones who, like, maybe you can set it so someone can do it with, like, power moves or uh, with, like, strikes or whatever. Yeah. And you get ones uh, that can do it with, like, roll-ups and stuff, and it's supposed to simulate just, like, catching someone off guard and catching them with a roll-up. And we did have a match once that ended in like 30 seconds by roll up. <laughs> I love that. I wish I wish there was a way to do like comedy matches in Fire Pro. Like I want Grado to be able to pull like a hat out of the middle of the ring and just start like throwing bunnies at a like, Kikutaro or some shit. I don't know. I would love that. <laughs> I miss both of these individuals so much. I want them on my TV screen at all times. I mean, you can get, you can create comedy spots. Like, one of the moves that someone created is like the Chris Statlander like booping their nose thing. Mm. You know, stuff like that. I didn't even know who to pick for this one. I think I, I think I'm gonna go with Grado. I don't know, chat. What do you think? It's the play. And Grado's music, another one of the ones not working, even though I set an entrance for him and everything. <laughs> I love the airplane spin. What a gem he is. Yeah, I've not seen him in a good long while, right? Boomer, uh, so we did, we had like a two-hour trip to Wrestler's Lab this last weekend. Hmm. And Boomer Hatfield had never heard of Grado before. So really? I just spent the whole car, yeah, I spent the whole car ride explaining Grado and uh, the incredible things that he does. And Boomer Hatfield is now a Grado fan. <laughs> I mean, when I start, first started going to independent shows over here, he was on like the first one I saw. Because this was like right about the time that he started to like blow up over here. And the weird, f but the weird thing was like because of the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I love. It was sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. It, it was just funny to watch Kiki Tower go for a lockup and then <laughs> Grado just, just overhand slaps him in the head. <laughs> like it's not funny in regular context, but watching these two people do it's pretty great. Oh yeah. I mean, if this match has never happened, if I remember right, it was supposed to happen at one point, but like uh, I think Kiki Taro had like travel issues or something. Remember when Grado won the ICW belt? Uh, yes, I do, Z-Bob was there. You were there for that? Mm-hmm. That must have been crazy. Oh, yeah. There's nothing like the ecstasy I've never seen a crowd a like that. Beating. Ah. We have one promotion here that's like the only thing even close to ICW crowds. It's called First Wrestling, and it's ran by Eric Cannon at the... Uh, 
um, first Ave like venue, mm. um, and that's in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it, it's like it's not really anything to anyone outside of that area, but it used to be where Prince would do a bunch of his performances, and it's where um, a lot of Purple Rain, which is Prince's movie, got shot. Yeah, like Russell Palouse was one of the most special things ever. It's crazy. I'm from like originally I'm from Min- um, Minnesota, so right. that used to be like a yearly thing before I moved out to Philadelphia. Yeah, Eric Cannon runs a promotion called First Wrestling, but the I is with the number one, so it's F One R S T. I have heard of them, but like I've never actually sat down to like watch anything because, as you know, there's like so much wrestling out there. Of course, yeah. The like it's it's one. Of, they've been doing um, shows in like different venues, kind of everywhere in a pandemic area, but usually they do it in the first half and it's just a crazy atmosphere like they have burlesque they have bands it's crazy it's just like a big old party yeah I, and yeah see the the crowd when Greta won the title was just nuts like I mean yeah. they don't get crowds that big now I think like more because like the bubbles kind of burst a bit in the UK scene uh, like because now there's like a promotion everywhere and I guess like like past kind of like the honeymoon period I guess of the UK scene but uh, like at that time like the crowds there were like bloody massive and Grado winning the title was like a huge huge moment yeah there's not a lot of them excited for for Wrestlemania week I like selfishly one of the things I'm really excited is to see wrestling with a crowd again like I don't care about any of the matches, but I'm definitely gonna watch at least part of WrestleMania just to see. Like, I don't know. Like, I recognize how reckless and irresponsible it is, but yeah. <laughs> like, the tiny part of my like ape brain is like, oh, I want to see wrestling where people clap. Oh, oh there's greater than for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the probably the biggest reaction I know I mentioned this on one of the streams but a long ago actually but for like it wasn't as big a crowd but like for like the noise that that crowd was making was I was at the ICW show where like Drew first came back Drew Drew McIntyre yep like after oh, WWE okay. released him and like this was one that was one of those ones where like the crowd just lost it like grown men like jumping around hugging each other kind of stuff that's awesome like same when like they before he joined WWE they had like uh, Fergal Devitt in a few times and like a couple of the times he literally showed up like unannounced which and you'll know if you've got like a star of that sort of level on an independent wrestling show, you announce them in advance because, you know, you want to sell more tickets, right? But, like, pulling in someone as a surprise appearance, it worked because the crowd lost it when he showed up. It was one of those, like, open challenge things and the lights go out and his, like, New Japan theme started playing. That sounds so awesome. Like, I miss that shit so much. Mm. Give me cool, give me cool wrestling moments again. Yeah. Uh, the promotion that ran Scrapper Mania was OTT in Ireland. Pat, you keep talking about um, like Chicago area stuff. Are you from Chicago? I know a Pat who's from there who, who loves wrestling. Maybe you know him. <laughs> <laughs> Scrapper Mania? I don't know what that is. It's- Scrapper Mania is OTT in Ireland. That's uh, the home promotion of like uh, Session of Martina and that. Oh, okay. Pat Creed. I don't know. I don't know his last name. I just know his older brother's name is Bear. That's that's about as much info as I know. I met him once because I stayed at his brother's house in my incredibly long trip to Minnesota <laughs> or to, to Philadelphia. It's like a three-day drive. But Pat is a pretty common name. You know, it's not a common name. Kikutaro. I've, I've only ever met one person with that name. I thought you were going to say Big Callis. 
<laughs> An even more rare name. I love how this match is going longer than uh, Wheeler versus Big Dave. I guess, oh, like, because they're more the evenly idea. matched. Mm, that could be, yeah. But Gradle will not give up. No, 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 no. So, this is a thing, that, like, that's come up on the stream a few times, you know, speaking of Gradle. Uh, and it's, like, it's one of those things that's, like, kind of... Oh, Kikitaro with the win. Oh, wow. Uh, it's kind of common knowledge over here, but not really, like, overseas in that. So, before he went, like, full-time in, like, wrestling and TV and stuff, what do you think Grado's day job was? Um, I think he was one of those dudes at like baseball games that sells hot dogs in the stands. Or uh, he was like a really good competitive yo-yo artist. All right. Neither, Am I right on either of those? Neither are even close to being close. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, before going like full time in wrestling and entertainment and such, Grado was a firefighter. Oh no way! That's crazy. I didn't even know you guys got fires over there. Oh yeah. I mean, you would how think that, it would be too how cold. Did that, how did that match get ninety percent? What? <laughs> I guess because like they're like evenly matched and it's like you know like styles that mesh kind of thing. All right. I buy it. I don't understand, but I respect it. <laughs> All right, next up, Killer Kelly versus Matt McCurse. Killer Kelly. What a crazy match that needs to happen right now. Oh, Bloodborne. I would, I'd watch the hell out of it. Not Bloodborne. Uh, Bloodsport. Not Bloodborne. Bloodsport uh, is a waste of a WrestleMania show if it doesn't have Killer Kelly versus Matt Mikowski. I mean, like... Would I watch these two fight each other in a Bloodborne setting? Absolutely. I love that game. <laughs> I love the idea of like walking through Yarnum and you just knock on someone's door and you just hear Matt McCast and be like, hey, you want to join my Twitch stream? I'll teach you about arm bars. Oh, that sounds way better than this big old monster. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Alright, since he's my buddy, I'm going to put... 900, oh my god, no people have voted for Matt Mikowski. Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna do significantly less than my original and go with 100 as opposed to 900 for Matt Mikowski. Matt Mikowski, whose show was cursed because those critical things I mentioned kept happening mm -hmm. because, you know, he booked a lot of shooters. <laughs> oh, I love this shit. This is so cool. I love how they both have, like, black fighter gear, too. Because, if I remember correctly, he booked himself against Minoru Suzuki. And That'd got be awesome. his ass kicked. <laughs> because Minoru Suzuki in this game is no joke. And I think, I think Minoru might have broke his arm or something. Mm. Killer Kelly's not doing great in this fight. Oh, she'll warm up, don't you worry. Oh, there we go. And he's like, Jesus! The level of depth you can put in when making someone in this is nuts. Like, you can, to an extent, choose how much a wrestler sells. Kind of. I think this is my favorite match that I've booked on the show so far. It's so like I've I've never seen ground uh, ground stuff in this game before. It's so cool. Um, at King of Trios one time, it was uh, I think it was my first King of Trios. I've only done two of them, but it was my first one. Right. And uh, I was like setting up my merch at the merch table, and Chris Dickinson's right next to me, and it was like. It was either right before or right after Fire Pro came out, and all he could fucking talk about was Fire Pro. He was so excited. He was like, I can't wait to finish my match so I can go home and play Fire Pro. It was the, 
It was the cutest thing. I, I completely... You know, like, sometimes when we've done, like, these kind of streams, and w maybe we'll do, like, a silly match at the end or something, and there was one we did that was, like, an eight-way where you could only be eliminated by, like, knockout or submission. And one of the responses I actually got on Twitter from it was, like, from Chris Dickinson. And it was like, we had all these, like, legends in it, you know, people like, you know, Mitsuhara Misawa and people like that. And the one person in it that he focused on was like, wait, is that? And it was Def Yamasan. I don't know who that is. Uh, also, uh, Kaori Oniyama uh, wrestles for Stardom and other oh, okay. uh, companies. But she does, like, a weird, it's supposed to be, like, a weird, almost, like, death metal kind of thing where she's got, like, Kiss-type makeup on. And just shouts What's death a lot. <laughs> uh, death Yamasan. Although she does like, I think it's like a clown gimmick kind of now. Death. Yeah, yeah. It, oh yes, and she's like four foot nine. <laughs> she is a tiny woman. Tiny wrestlers are honestly one of the grossest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you would say that. You're big. Mm. <laughs> Super kick, that's not very cash money of you. Oh no, she does do a super kick sometimes. I want to see more pro wrestling moves in like UFC shoot fights. Oh, same. Even like an Irish whip into the, like, the cage <laughs> or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you say that, like, I, I mean, I don't know how big on like MMA you are, but like, do you remember Genki Sudo? No. So he used to fight I'm, in like uh in like what'd you call it? Not Pride, the other one, uh Oh K one? Um I was thinking of something else. But like uh, Bellator. No no no, no. I guess that's... he was like long before that. Oh, okay. But like he wants I think he did a few fights in Pride as well, actually, now that I think about it. But he once won a fight utilizing a giant swing. That's so cool. Oh shit! Armbar out of nowhere. We didn't Did get to show off the thing. Yeah. He won. She's cooked. She's cooked. Get him. Get him, Mikowski. He has his little, um. My cat does that with her paws sometimes, where she'll <laughs> put him up like that. Oh yeah. Moki, behind me. Who's still, like, under the cover behind me, by the way, is the same. <laughs> yeah, I think all the cats are out in the living room with my wife watching TV. Uh, yeah, so like the guy, his opponent was like on the ground with like his feet up, trying to push away Genki's arms, and Genki just like grabbed his legs and like giant swung them and like snapped it into a heel hook and tapped him out. Jesus! Hey, what happens when I feed the bear? What does that do? Oh, we'll cover that later. Don't you worry. Do I'm antsy. I'm gonna feed the bear. Choose an opponent to go into a shoot fight with an actual bear. Yes. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna Wait. leave it as a surprise for you, but like that's how we end these streams. Oh my. I'm not gonna waste my points. I'm gonna continue to use my fictional points to gamble against my friends. And speaking of which, Candy Lee and Neil Wing versus O'Shea Edwards and Piper Niven. What a match. And O'Shea, the highest rated booker we have in the current run, by the way, since our restart them. What did he get? Them, uh, it was a match average. I will bring up the leaderboard right now. One moment. It was over 90 anyway. Hmm. I think I can beat that. I think we're on a good, we're on a good road. I'm feeling good about it. Oh, you put his team in. You're damn right oh. I did. I'm going to tell him. He's going to love that. Wherever possible, I put a theme in. O'Shea Edwards scored an average of 93.8. What was the thought behind this match? Um, I saw four people, and I wanted to put them in a scramble, but that's not an option. So I did this.
Honestly though, Candy Lee and Razor Wing would be one of the hottest teams ever. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You are on course to beat Matt Mikowski at least. What did Matt Mikowski get? Average of 84.8. Mm. He did, if I remember right, he did have some matches that scored really high, but like the matches that ended early by critical, like kind of knackered his score. I don't understand how uh, Mikowski and Killer Kelly got an 85 and Kikutaro got a, uh, a 98, but hey. I think because do? the like that the Mikowski match was kind of more one-sided and shorter. Ah, uh, I see. Because he didn't even pull out his finisher because Steel Morgan in the chat there actually made Matt's finisher. The O'Connor roll into the arm breaker. Wait, 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 it's no super anus. What is super anus? Please tell me more about this super anus. Okay, so super anus is a completely made up wrestler I made in this game. Who uses largely <laughs> butt cheek based offense. Oh! He can also poison mist people out of said butt cheeks. <laughs> but like, so in the shows we run, I... I, I do have like a Google Doc of all like the results and stuff, just so I can keep track, like for the ratings, more so that I can keep track of like, right, the people I've made, who's maybe getting not so good ratings and how can I fix that kind of thing. And Super Anus has a higher match average than anybody else. It's also show styles, I think the rest of the shows out here looking for the shoot fire parts. Oh I see. Yeah. But at the same that time, like our like in this game our crowd are accustomed to showman style matches. So they might not have been recept as receptive to like maybe like a strong style match or whatever. And that's true, people do like butt stuff. <laughs> I wanna wrestle Viper so badly. I imagine she'd want to wrestle you as well. Well, let's just get a bunch of money together and book it. Let's crowdfund it, chat. <laughs> I will I will steal money from the trees to keep money in there. I will collect as much tree money as possible, and then once I have all my tree money together, I will book this show. And you'll be pleased to know as well, she's legit just like one of the nicest people on earth. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love I love that when like good wrestlers are nice people. That's my favorite. Like I've known her for a while now. Largely because like we would meet at shows and stuff and it turned out like we had like mutual friends and what have you. And she's just like one of the nicest people. That's awesome. Get him, Candy! Oh yeah. Hot damn! I've never seen that block for the Discus Lariat before and it was cool. Give up. <laughs> Big fucking hands, man. If I had hands like that, I'd be showing everyone. I'd be on the bus stop, I'd be like, look at my hands. Would you ever get sick of these jokes about your giant hands? No, I think, I, like, at one point in, in my puberty, I'd probably get a little bit tired of it. Like, I'd get snarky as a teenager, but... As a young adult, I think I would come to embrace them and find a way to make money off them. Like, <laughs> I would walk around town with a big blanket over my hands, and I would walk up to strangers and I'd say, Hey, give me ten bucks and I'll move this blanket from my hands and you can see how big my fucking hands are. <laughs> what? Okay, here's ten dollars. And then I would show my hands to everyone and I'd become a billionaire. Oh yeah, but she's just, yeah, she is, she's like lovely. One of my favourite things that I miss about seeing her on at shows is, yeah. like, yeah. how good she is with kids. Yeah. Like, oh, really? When, like, kids approach her to, like, get a picture or whatever, just how, just really, just nice she is with them and stuff. I, I that's a quality I, like, I really value in other people is how good they are with kids, because I'm, I don't know how to talk to, like, when kids are around me, I, I treat them like they're animals. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm terrible with kids. Like if I see a kid at a show, I'm just like, hey, hey. hey. Um, they usually don't like almost three out of every four kids that approach me end up crying. 
<laughs> just <laughs> just Alex is just a lot to take in. Just shout at them and like tell them, you know, like you know eat your greens and one day you too can be big or whatever <laughs> uh, one of the <laughs> one of the promoters for wrestlers lab brought his kids to the show for uh for the taping and uh like he he's aware of me and he knows who i am but it was my first time meeting him mm. um so i walk up to him and he's like i think like two or three i'm not sure i'm not sure how kid years work um, <laughs> but i was like hello I'm Big Calyx, and he immediately immediately started to sob. Oh no! <laughs> so definitely more of a Boomer Hatfield fan. <laughs> I think everyone tends to be, yeah. <laughs> Bring your cats and dogs to the shows, I'll, I'll talk to them. You can leave your kids at home. I'm not great with kids. <laughs> Also, Vapor, uh, Vapor once did one of the funniest spots I've ever seen in a match, or rather, one of the funniest responses to a spot. It was her against uh, Session Moth Martina, and Vapor was the heel, which is kind of weird because the show's in Scotland, and she's like mega, mega popular here, but... <laughs> She, you know, like Martina does, like, I guess, best way to put it, her version of the Bronco Buster. Yeah. And yeah. Viper's <laughs> response to taking it was to roll out of the ring and spray air freshener in her own face. <laughs> I love that. I think I think the fit, my favorite funny spot that I've ever been in is a uh, it was a trios match at Dropkick Depression, mm. and I don't know who everyone was in it, but like the spot at the time was me versus Green Ant. Um, so, walking out in the entrance, I brought out this mystery bag. It was like a black bag wrapped in a towel, wrapped in whatever else, and no one knew what it was um, until I get in the ring with Green Ant, and it's bug spray. Uh, <laughs> so I pull the bug spray out, and we run maybe like a minute and a half of lucha spots with bug spray in my hand because um, he's so light i can base for everything he does with one hand uh and then it ends with him kicking my hand and i just get tired of him so he goes for a crossbody off the top rope and i just spray him with bug spray it's my favorite thing ever i want to see this now <laughs> yeah it's 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 like one of the first dropkick depression shows it's before i it's where i had like my old mask and my old gear and everything but it's a fun one, no doubt. They're on IWTV, right? Yep, yep. Well, which you can subscribe to, by the way, for nine ninety nine a month. Great value. Yes, use the code BIG for... <laughs> um, I, I don't know if that's a code. Let's try it out, see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work, but you're on the website at that by that point and it's already too late. Just subscribe, Perfect. why not? Yeah. I I still have no idea who's gonna win this match. It's been pretty even. Oh. Well there 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 goes that prediction. As soon as I'm like, who's going to win? Boom. Seventy percent? Yeah, I'm surprised by that. What the hell game? What the hell game? I was going to beat O'Shea Edwards. I was supposed to win. I mean, you're, I mean you've got two matches to go and your match average is still 87%. I feel good. I feel good about Mabel and Max. I feel good about the results of this. It's going to be big. It's going to be beefy. Um, and then if Max wins, Mabel has to go back to the dead forever. <laughs> <laughs> it was a uh, uh, cage match. That, like is missing a ton of my shit. Um, it's uh, it's like one of the first. Let me go on IWTV and find it. It was a trios match. Yeah, I like which cage it is. match is kind of weird like that. 
Yeah, I thought Cage Match used to be like super, super reputable, and now it's just kind of whatever. Well, you say that, and I can't. I think I mentioned this before on here, but like speaking of Grado, so like very early in Grado's career, because he came ar he first came around like I think about two thousand five, uh, and nothing much really came of it and he went away for a while and then he came back as Rick the Grado that we now know and <laughs> so oh just a heads up the uh so the show that that was on it's Dropkick Repression the Halloween Cannonball Birthday Extravaganza June 22nd 2019 there so that would have been like yeah I'll watch that but yeah, what was I going to say? Aye, so, when Gradle was first around, he wrestled under the name Grant Dunbar. And he was teaming with a wrestler who, was, who wrestles under the name Glenn Dunbar, and they were supposed to be brothers. And for so long afterwards, like, up until, I think, a couple of years ago, Cage Match still had them listed as brothers. Like, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and they still thought that, like, Grant and Barr was Grado's real name. I love... I can't believe they got Max so accurate. Oh, that was me that made it. That's crazy! You did a great job! He was like, no one had made Max in the game, and I was like, well, I'm not having that. Someone's got What to. a shame. Yeah. So, Emily, I, there is a few of the people on that, like, I've literally just had to make myself. Mostly, the, like, the UK ones. Especially, like, the Scottish ones. Because, like, most of the Scottish or Irish ones that they had are mostly just either the most obvious, like, ICW names or the, you know, the ones that have been in, like, NXT UK or whatever. Give up. <laughs> Whereas, so a lot of them I just had, literally just had to make them myself. And Max was one of those as well. Cough, cough, subscribe to IWTV.live. Cough, cough. I see you see him, Chainsaw. I don't know about you, where you are, but it is the most beautiful day out outside. It is incredible. Well, it's like night here, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, uh, it's like 7 p.m. over here. The sun's still out, the birds are chirping. Yeah, it's like 10 to midnight here. <laughs> I mean, I'll still be up for quite some time yet because that's just how my body works, but... I mean, your time zone... I am the time zone! <laughs> Give up? Give up? You had snow today? Where did you have snow today? That would be in Cheltenham, down in England. That's crazy. Well, wait, aren't seasons... I don't know how... <laughs> wait, <laughs> I don't know how seasons work with time zones. Well, I mean, but... I, I can't speak for England, but Scotland only has two seasons. Winter and June. Oh, okay. <laughs> Southwest UK. If you gave me a map and you're like... Pick one of these spots and uh, name it. I couldn't. See, like most of my geography knowledge literally originated from wrestling. <laughs> like learning, oh, this city's in this state came from like people being announced from those places. <laughs> oh, I need to find a good place to be announced from. I can never figure it out. Anyone, everyone always asks me, and I'm like, I don't know, North America. Where is, what's a good spot to be from? Big. Just try and find That's a town not... called Big. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go to Google and see if there's a city called Big. <laughs> uh, That's a good one. Chainsaw says a landmass. A landmass. City of Big Bear Lake. Um, Big Spring, Texas. That's all I'm finding. Big Lake, Minnesota. No! 
Oh, Max going crazy, they're just randomly shouting. I love Max as well, Kiwi. Hailing from the biggest city you could find. That's a good one. Or have it just be the biggest city close by to wherever the show is. Like, kind of like, uh, I mean, you might not, now that I know how young you are, but like, if anyone in the chat remembers Chilly Willie Fraser from ECW, like the way he used to. Where, like, Chilly Willie's thing was, his gimmick was that he's everybody's favourite homeboy. And he would just be announced as being from whatever city they were in. <laughs> and it would Casa always get Grande. a huge pop as well. Casa Grande is fucking hilarious. I might have to do that one. Oh yeah, Chainsaw. I, I really liked Chili Willie. It was kind of a shame not really much happened for him after ECW. From the biggest apple it could be. The biggest apple. These two are just throwing each other around. This is incredible. It's exactly what we expected. Jesus Christ! I mean, if there's anyone in wrestling today who could do that, it's Max. Yeah, Max is incredible. I, like, I don't know, I don't even think they've been wrestling for long. No. Like, I think we've been wrestling for the same amount of time. Yeah, because, like, bef like, I think, like, the December, before, like, the pandemic hit, they'd been wrestling for, like, a year. Oh, yeah, then they've been wrestling a little bit longer than I have, then. That's crazy. They, like... They're so good and successful for just a short amount of time. That's awesome. Like when I, when I first got into Max, my thing was uh, showing people their matches and surprising them with how short an amount of time they'd actually been wrestling. Good for them. That's oh, awesome. totally. And gets the win. Hi, buddy. Hi. My cat has joined us. Cat, Hi. Cat, 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 cat. Hi, baby. You want to talk? You want to say something for the stream? He's shy. Right. 85, which kind of makes sense because it was a bit one sided. But now, main event time. Charlie, you want to say something for the stream? Can you honk for me? <laughs> Got a little bit of something. Just a tiny little bit. Right, chat, are you ready for our main event? It is time! Oh, <laughs> that scared him. Um, <laughs> it is time for the big event. Big Calyx versus the Great Kali. If Big Calyx wins, he enters the WWE Hall of Fame forever. <laughs> but if the Great Kali wins, he is big for one day. And one day only. That's all he gets. Wait, is there a big head mode? Can we do that? Yeah. <laughs> Like, not a big head mode as such, but you can do it for individual wrestlers. Mm. You can just, like, make their head really big. Oh, shit! You got my theme song in here! Yeah, that's why I asked you that time, remember? <laughs> that's so cool. I was talking to someone. I haven't heard my own theme song in front of a crowd in over a year. Anyone who bets on Kali is immediately banned on site. <laughs> I just spent all of my points on myself. Oh 
Oh, yeah, I've seen that uh, firehawk. Andre the Giant Head. Fight. Someone just made Andre the Giant, but with a giant head in the game. <laughs> oh, I am beating the piss out of Kali. Oh, never mind. I'm not enjoying how this is going. So, oh, um, Wait. he is, uh, he is great. He is a giant, but he is not yeah, big. Well, he's not big. He is regular sized at best. And he is small at worst. He has defeated a bear. Wait, he defeated a bear? Yeah, one of the bear, the yeah, bear of shoot fights we did was Kali and Kali won. <laughs> I love that. I mean, some wrestlers have defeated the bear. Uh, Chris Hero defeated the bear. Uh, Max the Impaler defeated the bear. Effie defeated the bear. Uh, Peyton Royce. Yeah. Maki Ito. Oh no, I'm getting my shit handed to me. You know this is not great. Oh, thank you very much for the raid, Swedish Chips. Oh, thank you so much. You join us for our main event of the evening. Big Calix versus the Great Kali. Give up. Our big event. In front of the LT Cola sponsorship advertisement. Uh, it's actually the, the largest Cola, the lightning bolt oh. supposed to be an eye. Like, that's that, cool. That's another thing it does uh, in the game. It gives you, like, oh, like, those ones obviously random made up, like, sponsors. Uh, once you start getting, like, your company starts getting bigger. Maybe I'm showing my age here, but they look like those, um, they're, like, iCarly fake, sh like, sponsorships and shirts. Like, that's probably a joke just for me, but that's what that. it looks like. There is an apron sponsor that is literally called Burning Hammer. What do they do? Oh my god. I don't know. Am I Am I gonna lose this match in six minutes? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't think you will. Not oh, that quick, yes. at least. Got him. Big. Ah, the head! My, my incredibly big head! Big Calyx doesn't lose in six minutes. Big Calyx only loses in eight minutes. <laughs> For five grand. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you look at my, statist my statistics, that's probably true, minus the five grand. Stop trying to choke slam me spot there. I am gassed. This is a really good simulator. Eight minutes in and I'm heaving for air. Oh, oh so is he to be fair. <laughs> Perfect. Equal ground. Oh, oh shit! Critical! He's done! He's cooked! Big Calix is in the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, goddamn! Big Calix is in the Hall of Fame! I can't believe I did that shit. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I scored a critical on the main event of my own show against Great Kali on my finisher. Kali, you don't deserve that Hall of Fame spot. It is mine now. I will see you in approximately 57 minutes when I accept my award. <laughs> and with that, I mean, it yeah. lowered the rating a bit, but I think it's worth it. That was awesome. So, that was absolutely worth it. 86.1. I'll take it. I'll take it. Which puts you... Below Alexis Falcon but above Matt Mikowski. That's right where I want to be. 
right where I need to be. And now we get all it's the random title the changes time. from other promotions. <laughs> Hall of Fame induction. Chaos stands for Kali out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that was awesome. And in addition to that, we sent Rosemary to stardom and she's coming back with their title. Oh, what a good day. All right. So the main show is out of the way. Kurt Angle joined Ring of Honor. That'd be cool. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so the main show is over, but we have one left thing, one last thing left to do. Yes. Big the cows. Bear. Which wrestler? Provided I've got them in the game, would you like to put in a shoot fight with a bear? I would like to test my own myself against the bear. I would like to fight the bear. Let me, let me fight the bear. I want to fight the bear. Let me get the bear. I will ruin that bear. It is time. Oh yeah, that's coming next, Sasha. I have just defeated the second largest wrestler in the world. I I I feel confident in my ability to kill a bear. Defeat a bear. <laughs> Defeat a bear. <laughs> okay. I mean, so, big Calix or a giant bear? Well, in fact, we're gonna do do one further since we were talking earlier and found out you're a hockey fan. So. It's going to be hockey playing bear two sport athlete Wayne Grizzly. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Wayne Grizzly. <laughs> Incredible. So who wins, Big Alex or Wayne Grizzly? Well, you know, I felt pretty confident about generic bear number one, but now that this bear is wearing a hockey jersey and. Oh my god, it's in, a, in an eight-sided octagon. This is a shoe fight. Yeah. There's no ropes. I can't hit my black hole slam on a bear. Oh no. Well, I'm winning so far. I feel good about this. Who wins? I'm going to put all of my 1,000 points on myself. I mean, you're holding up strong so far. I'm doing great. Oh. I love that the bear knows um, jujitsu. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are trained bears. Highly professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Not the head. I feel good about my odds, though. We're, we're doing all right. Swedish Ace in the chat says he only bet on the bear just to give you a bigger pot to win. Oh, perfect. Yes, make the spread bigger. The more you bet on the bear, the more my, my winnings I get, I think. I don't know. Uh, that is her. I don't know how fictional. <laughs> this bear refuses to lock up with me. And yes, uh, for anyone wondering, it is Wolf of Enma playing to keep up the bet. Oh no! So are the wins, is it just like UFC rules where it's tap out, submission only, or knockout? Uh, submission or knockout, yeah. Mm. Oh, right. there's rounds! Yep. That is our, uh, that's our junior official taking charge of this one, not our senior official. This is oh. our junior official, uh, senior official. Regular hands, Steve. Regular hands, mass man, Steve. 
Yeah. No, his name is Senor Official. 15 rounds? Oh my goodness. No, 5 Someone's rounds. Gonna die. 15 oh, rounds five is rounds. the ones where it's in the ring. Ah. Okay, so. uh. Because the one I in the ring, it, it, as well as, like, no, I've got some mission, it's got, like, a. Like a. Like a, t a 10 count to get back to your feet points as well. Yeah, the third round is the murder round. Uh, murder round? Is that where everyone dies? Kind of. Uh, <laughs> basically, it's very seldom that any of these fights, whichever way they go, go past the third round. Oh no, the bear to plane spin! Hey, that that can't knock me out. I feel I feel good about that. It'll be fine. Oh. I was waiting on that being it. Like, <laughs> that can't knock me out. Smack. <laughs> <laughs> That's happened twice today. I was like, oh, this is... I wonder when this thing is going to happen. And then it immediately happens. That bear, clearly not big enough, beefy enough to powerbomb Big Calyx. Oh! Coming out of round one and round two, feeling really good, really confident. We're beating the fuck out of this bear. Oh, bear claw. But saved by the bear. Close. Saved by the bear. He's done. He's done. <laughs> bear fire, not though. Things heating up in this fight, the bear's starting to come back into it a bit. Boom! Oh. It oh. is done! Oh! Well, goddamn! Big Alex killed the bear! I'm coming! Round three is the murder round. Yep. I'm so good! Big Calyx is so big! 90%! 90% on a match with a bear. Put your bigs in the chat. Put them in! Big! Big! Big Calyx killed the New York Rangers. <laughs> so... Yes, now that I have defeated the bear, I stake my claim and let my son, Bear Calyx, roam the bear octagon fighting independent scene. Now, if you don't think I'm going to make a Bear Calyx in the game based on that... <laughs> you must. It is law. But What was Easter for if there's not a Bear Calyx? Right. So, round about here is normally where we would wrap up. But... We've got one extra thing because it's Big Calyx. Oh. So, uh, I mentioned to you that we have our own, you know, stuff with created characters and what have you that we do in the game, and characters created by our friends or based oh. on our friends. And you know one of them. <gasps> oh shit! Oh my god. So, who do you want Cal at you think? Uh, is it selfish if I put myself? Wait, mm -hmm. actually, hold on. Hey, Callie. <laughs> you gotta come here for a sec. So, so, after I've defeated the great Kali and taken uh, his title of the Hall of Famer, and I've defeated a bear in three rounds. A bear. Uh, uh, Wayne Grizzly. Um, we have reached the finale of the stream where we have you. Oh, it's, me. it's you, and you must decide who you would wish to wrestle. Is anybody at all? 
As, lo uh, as long I mean, as I've got them in the game. As long as we have them in the game. <laughs> well, I have quite a, an expansive roster, so if Callie can think of someone, I probably have them. Yeah, if you, he said if you can think of someone, he probably has them. It's pretty expansive. Who do you want to wrestle? You don't know. Anybody. I've wrestled twice. I've, I'm tired. <laughs> Ooh. No. Uh, those are banned in the world of Fire Bro. Uh, I don't know if you heard, mm -hmm. but her options are between Hollow Wicked or Chuck Mambo. Well, Hollow Hollow Wicked, Hollow... Hollow Wicked, so how about Chuck Mambo? We've... We have Chuck Mambo? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do Chuck Mambo. Hey. Which, uh, which gear do you want? You have between the four shades of green. <laughs> well, some, some of those are yellow. Some of those shades of green are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So All right. You feel good about this? Here we go. Okay. The finale. The finale. It is Chuck Mambo versus Big Cali. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. Can I? Can I bet my points? Uh, yes. Can we get some? Can we get some big callies in the chat? Can we get some bigs in the chat? Big. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Oh. Here comes Wee's custom theme that is absolutely in no way a knockoff of We're All Dudes by Les and Jake. This is actually a thing we can hear. Oh shit, we got some big Callies in the chat. We got some big Callies in the chat. Oh. <laughs> and as for Callie, I couldn't remember what she picked as a theme originally. So I just went for something I felt fit. It sounds like it's a good theme. No. <laughs> Yeah, as far as getting loops right, Callie was one of the ones I was actually most happy with out of our Wii gang. It's, a, it's an incredible look. It is so on brand. You did a great job. Fight! Yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit! Can you hear Callie, by the way? Mm -hmm. Oh, vi like oh, okay, faintly, cool. but yes. Oh, okay. You are. You yeah. can be heard faintly. Yeah. Uh, Look at all these big cowies in the chat. Look yeah. at all this. You're famous. For it, and for anyone wondering, uh, the finish I gave her is uh, Hiromu Takahashi's time bomb, and it, it, but we've called it the Apocalypse Zone. <laughs> That's a great name. Your finisher is the uh, is the Apocalypso. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> You're doing pretty well so far. Pretty much everyone bet on Cali winning. Oh, I forgot to bet. I forgot to gamble. Just call it a conflict of interest or something. All right. Yes. So you have uh, fifty one thousand points on you from the chat and three hundred sixty nine on. There's like a small part of me that wants Chuck Mamba to win with a roll up so everyone loses their point. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to destroy the economy of my channel and nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, with my 1.4 thousand hot dog handshakes, I will stimulate your channel's economy with my points. And I will give out 300. 300 points to everyone. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that math doesn't work out. <laughs> so 1,400. Uh, apparently it was originally maybe 2,000, but shrug. <laughs> Inflation. Mm -hmm. I guess deflation. Thank you for the 13 bits. Thank you for the bits. 
What? Wait, I need you to say that louder and into the mic. Why are the ref's hands so big? <laughs> because that's our senior official, Big Hands Johnson. That's our, it's our big, it's our uh, senior official, Big Hands Johnson. His name is Big Hands Johnson. His, his hands are just so big and muscly from all the counting he does, you see. <laughs> In the counting competitions, he blew everyone away just because his, his hands are so fucking big. Oh, and check it out. Jen in the chat, totally on top of things and plugging Callie on Twitter, including her design so cool. thing on Instagram. Thanks, Canadian. Yeah. Oh, you missed. He can count to 20 with those hands. He doesn't have more fingers, he just has bigger palms. Yeah, but each finger is so thick it counts as two. Small package! Oh no! What if that was it? What if I called it correctly? Jesus! Jesus! No, super oh. Kick. What is his finish? Yeah. I can't remember offhand. I'm told this is the bad burrito, but I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh! You know, I'll be honest with Chuck Mambo, I've seen more promos and stuff than actual matches. <laughs> uh, He's a fun watch. I oh love yeah. watching him wrestle. I've, I've seen him live like once, and it was, but it was like a six person tag. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was like, you know, it can be hard to tell what someone's finish is from one of those. For sure, yeah. <laughs> Callie, you cooked. I don't know what to tell you. I think you lost this one. Oh, I'm going for the apocalypse, but he had it scouted. Oh yeah, he's he's got that move scouted. Who's gonna get up first? Oh, Callie! Oh no! Oh, you got so lucky, you threw him to the outside. to destroy the economy. Well, in an unfortunate turn of events, everyone in the channel has just lost their hot dog handshake points. Um, to stimulate your channel's economy, I will donate 100 points to highlight my message. Big. <laughs> Big! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That was so cool of you. Thank you so much for doing that. Oh, no problem. Uh, I like, Cali is like one of the gang from that dumb stuff I do from like way back when so I thought why not throw it in as an extra wee surprise at the end yeah uh, that's so cool it was like we uh, it was through Eddie Sideburns I think we became Pally on Twitter oh yeah that sounds right I remember that name yeah like because the whole thing was he had a stable called Sideburns Worldwide and he wanted Cali to be part of it and that was, was that part we, of the uh was that part of that thing where there was like Hunger Games or whatever for like a month or so? No, that was a separate thing Eddie ran. Oh. Um, but yeah, like the, <laughs> like, like Eddie wanted the stable and he told me who he wanted in it and that was how I ended up getting speaking to Callie because he was like, I want Callie to be a part of this and yeah. Aww. That's so cool. But yes. Yeah, well, I don't know if you can hear it. My cats are 
screaming for me. <laughs> um, no worries. So I think this is where I have to dip out. Yeah, I'm but gonna... this has been so much fun. Thank you for. Oh, oh no problem. Sir, F uh, thank, thank you for, thank you for having on. me. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, like yeah, like I just I initially started these. I figured you know just daft bit of wrestling related fun while everyone's stuck inside or whatever. And for sure, it's, it's kind of blossomed a wee bit. So before yeah, we go, it's 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 nice to have practice talking talking to another human. Yeah. It's always a good time. <laughs> So, before we go, uh, where can people find Big Calyx on the internet? Um, uh, you can find me on Twitter, mostly. I'm, I'm on Instagram, too, but I don't use it as much as I should. Um, it's Big Calyx yeah. PW on Twitter. Yeah, at Calyx PW. Go harass your local promotion and, and tell them to book me and say, this guy's really great. He's going to make you a lot of money. This just book him. This guy's really big. That's, yeah, just harass your local promoter and tell them to book me. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> send them just the word big over and over again. Because, yes. Yeah, he's yes. a WWE Hall of Famer. You have to book him. I am a Hall of Famer. Yes. As a WWE Hall of Famer, you should, uh, I don't know, you should <laughs> just book me. <laughs> and Sasha says, uh, we can't, they already book you. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> well, the job's done. I've done it. As a WWE Hall of Famer, my career is done. Right. I can tie it up. So, we're going to wrap it there. We're going to raid New Legs Yank, uh, who are playing Bioshock, so I think that means it's a uh, slip that's on. Uh, they're good people, so go tell them hello. And uh, fill their chat with BIG! <laughs> that's the message. Yes, yes, just, absolutely. Please go raid. Uh, please just keep putting Big Calyx in their chat. Just say Big Calyx. Yeah. Non stop. Yeah. Just rate it like this. Alex. Like that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's perfect. We'll wrap it here. Uh, cheers very much. I'll be back on myself tomorrow doing Wrestleverse, which is just, you know, the usual dumb stuff with all of our created characters and whatnot. And see you around for that. Bye now. Bye. Right. I need to watch their chat to see how this goes. Yes.